Assalamu alaikum, how are you all? How's everything? Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to use the uh, website Mixamo. Mixamo it's a website uh, uh, it's being run through Adobe. It's part of Adobe. Um, you can use it free. You just need to have uh, an account inside it. This uh, website, it's uh, about uh, rigging or animating the character or the model. Like I have a ready model, I'll use it, I'll put it in Mixamo and then Mixamo it will be having ready-made animations which I can then take it and use it in 3ds Max to make the movement to animate it, the character. So first of all, we're going to search for the Mixamo as in the beginning okay so this is the name mixamo to me to you first time user it will show you the website of uh, t you need to log in but for me it's uh, because i have been using it before so uh, it showed me the last character which i have been using so for, uh, here's the character which I have uploaded before and I'll be using it the same one for now and these are the ready-made animations there are a lot and here is the settings everything done inside there and here's the search engine and how many pages the usual so first of all first we're going to upload the character so I'm going to choose here you have different formats which it accepts so what I'm going to use is this one zombie so I'm uploading it after uploading it and then it will give me a warning because I have already uploaded the character before so that character it will be deleted it will tell me like that so i'm just waiting for the process to be able okay so this is the character so here's the warning because i have uploaded the character before so i'm just clicking next okay so now here's the character which i want to get this character is from character generator uh, I have uh, customized it there. There is uh, another video which uh, I spoke about character generator, uh, which you can review it. It's in Arabic, I think. So um, here now, what I'm going to do is to choose which animation I want the character to move with. So here, like for example, if I click jumping, see the character jump okay so this the character is jumping like uh, some bed samba dance dancing so the character here is dancing okay and you have many uh, animations which you can do like for example I'll choose one which is uh, dance so here it will show me all the dancing like if I want to break dance so here are the break dancing okay so I could choose which break dance for example I want um there is one I remember yeah this one footwork okay so there is footwork so this is the footwork dance okay by the way I can move it using uh, this I'm using the left uh, the left uh, mouse button and this is the scrolling so the left is rotating up and down and scrolling is zooming and uh, zooming in and zooming out so this is the break dance. Why are you running away? Okay. 
is how the break dance is. Okay, so now I have here, if you have seen before, it's uh, the settings of uh, the numbers. So like here, it's overdrive. Overdrive, it's uh, I think the speed of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the speed of the movement. Okay, like here now it's slow. Here it's slow, and here it's super fast. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep it in the middle. Here, and then I have char character arm space, which is how wide the arms to be from each other. Like here it's very narrow, and here it's very wide of how to keep. So I'm just gonna keep it about 60. And here is the trim timing of how much frames for it to be working. So I'm just going to keep it the same one. I don't want to uh, change it. So now what I'm going to do is download it. Download it is so that I can use it in C, uh, 3ds Max. So here I'm going to download it. I have here different formats. FBX, FBX for Unity and Collada. I don't know what is Collada, but I usually use FBX. And then I'll do two ways, with skin and without skin. Like here, with skin and without skin. And keyframe reduction, I don't know, because I don't usually use it. Use it. And then here I have frames per second, which I usually keep it the default one, which is uh, 30. So I'm going to click download. I'm waiting to prepare to download. OK, so here's the download the file okay save okay so here's the file that I have just downloaded so what I'm going to do is to just drag the file here okay so as you can see it's with the character and it's already downloaded okay Alt W to increase the size to maximize it so this is the character. I'm just going to keep it a bit. Yeah. OK, so now I'm going to play it. So this is how the character is movement. OK. So this is the one with the skin. So now I'm going to try to do the other one, which is without the skin. I'm sorry. Okay, so download again without skin, FBX, the same settings. Okay, save as. So here I'm going to change the name, new folder inside it. Keep it the same since I'm making a new folder. And then I'll go to the file because here is the file. So here, brink dancing. OK, so now here it's only importing the, um, what's called, the bones. This I have only imported the bones. To be able, because I chose without skin. So to be able to import the whole thing, I'll need to go to my original file zombie so zombie drag the file here import okay I have imported the file now return back to 3d and then I'll go to the folder drag this one onto the character import file so now the character has the um, animation inside it because the character already is from character generator it it she already has the bones it has been rigged already so it's only like the animation of the movement so that's why it's without skin or with skin depending on how i want it i hope that this uh, was uh, easy and uh, thank you